So this is the pre-locked crochet hair that I'm going to be crocheting onto her individual braid to make sure that my foundation is thick and sturdy. And this is the final product with me crocheting all of the pre-locked hair onto her individual braid. So now that I have the pre-locked hair crocheted onto her individual braid, I'm going to go ahead and take my spring twist hair and then I'm going to start by wrapping it around the base. Now you want to make sure you have it not tight but tight enough where it won't slip out at the base. Um, and then after that, you kind of just want to go ahead and wrap. And when I wrap, I kind of do it in between tight and loose. Tight enough to where it won't slip and loose enough to where I can still get that messy look. And another thing, when you're wrapping and you see where her hair stops, you want to make sure you go over that part a couple of times because you want to make sure her hair does not stick out of the lock. So you have to make sure her hair is very secured and wrapped with that pre-locked hair. When I get to the end of wrapping, um, like I said, this hair kind of stays in place by itself. So I kind of just wrap it until I can't wrap anymore and it will be secured, but you can use nail glue. So here I'm just showing you how I do my blonde pieces. This right here isn't necessarily a pre-locked crochet braid. It, it's like a twist, but anything that will make sure you have a sturdy structure under your lock is fine and that right there is pretty sturdy so i went ahead and crocheted it on there now i'm going to take my spring twist hair spread it out and then start to wrap 